What's going on everyone? I'm Sean from Start to Finish Gaming and welcome back to Ragnarok for Episode 7 of the Custom Map Story Mode series. Guys, in the last episode, last episode was Day 2 of the build. We got a little bit done with the build, but of course, kept running into a few interruptions. But guys, if you haven't checked out that video in the right-hand corner right about now, is a link sending you on over there. So definitely check out that video, then come on back to this one. But today, guys, today, well, let's talk about what happened in between episodes episodes because a lot has actually happened so I've done a little bit with the build I haven't gone too too crazy honestly I've actually just built this on the side here to put four refining forges I thought having it over there was just a little pointless at this point and I do like this setup honestly where I can go out with the Equus just get materials kind of just roll up here with the Equus park the Equus here and kind of just move everything back and forth to the refining forges so this has worked out pretty well so far the smithy is full of just random things, honestly, but um, I also have this box over here. The box will move eventually, but this is just holding um, armor, weapons, all that fun stuff. Um, I still do plan on putting the pier out here. I think it's going to look really, really nice, but I think when it comes to builds and everything like that at this point, guys, I think I'm going to do this in between episodes because I keep second-guessing myself, trying to figure out what I'm going to do, and to be honest, I don't really, in my opinion, I don't really find building episodes to be that entertaining, honestly. Um, there's plenty of builders out there that do amazing work. There's Pilgrim's Project, Aaron Longstaff, that's just to name a few. But if you guys are looking for specific like builds, building videos, building channels, check them on out. Personally, I feel more comfortable just kind of finishing the builds and everything like that in between episodes. Um, but I will let you guys know that I've decided I'm not going to put the pen out here like I originally planned because... We have access to cryos now, so why the heck not? Um, in between episodes, I have actually went back and forth and everything, and I think we have a total of 10 cryos specifically. So, Double Stuff is holding a couple of the creatures, including um, the raptors, the perfect female, the gigantopithecus, and the trike, uh, along with a whole bunch of other stuff. But in between episodes... Yes, we have actually added a few more Carnos to our army. So it turns out that there was actually a 174 male uh, right by our base. It was kind of like running around and everything. And I was like, okay, I have to go for it. I know it's a 174 male, but like I said, eventually we will find a female, which did end up happening. We actually got a 174 female also. And again, it was just too good to pass up to finally get some Carnos. So honestly, we have a nice little army here. I haven't bred them. I haven't looked over the stats and everything yet. Um, speaking of which, let's look over the stats now, just so you guys could see kind of what... Um, actually, I don't remember which one was in between episodes. Um, I'd have to look back at the footage and see. I'm going to assume it's this one, but 4,200 in health, 1,560 in stam, 522 in weight, and 343 melee on this guy. And then this is the female here with 3,948 in health, 1,200 stam, 504 in weight, and 355 melee. So in between episodes, I may start breeding these and everything because I think having a card or two to run around with around with will be uh will be a lot of fun in this area and i think it'll do actually really really well but what are we doing in today's episode let's uh let's just cut the uh talk and everything like that at this point what are we doing today well we have a flyer which opens up a whole world of possibilities but i'm a bit greedy i want a better flyer i want a griffin Yes, we are on Ragnarok. We need to get a griffin because the things are absolutely amazing. And to be honest, I don't personally use griffins a lot, so I'm really excited doing this series because I really get to utilize the griffin. And why not now? Now is the best time to get it. So let's go out and get ourselves a griffin. We do have our Pteranodon here. I have loaded up a couple of cryopods, a little bit of narcotic just in case, a little bit of food for the Pteranodon. Raw mutton we already have, so we're all good there. I have three dinosaur gates and five dino gateways, and hopefully this is going to be enough to actually trap the griffin, along with 150 trank arrows. With our ascendant crossbow, should be good enough. I really, really hope so. Oh my god, this thing scared the crap out of me. Um, really, really hope so, but guys... Let's get flying. Let's try to find ourselves a griffin. And why not go for the highest we can find, honestly? Um, it is a little bit early in the day. I think it's a little bit before 8 o'clock at this point. 7.18, which is perfect. Let's get started. Let's find ourselves a griffin, guys. Of course, I am flying to Green Obelisk, which is where some griffins can be found. And the first dino I spot, 180 Dire Bear. 
<sighs> no, we're going to pass that up, unfortunately. Um, I know, it's a 180. We should get it, honestly. It would be a great team to get, but um, we're going to pass it up, honestly, because I want to. if I'm going to get a Dire Bear, I don't want to get a normal Dire Bear. I want to get a... There's Aberrant Dire Bears on here, plus we actually have the R Dire Bear spawning in on here, so... I might want to grab an R Dire Bear. The R Dire Bear particularly, you cannot actually get. It's actually um, over on Genesis 2. But it's a, a dino that the summoner can spawn in, but you can't actually tame them. So it's an unattainable creature, but it has, um, it has color regions. It has all that fun stuff. So why not tame that this series? Because I think that would actually be really, really cool, getting a uh, unique creature like the R Dire Bear. But... Let's focus on today. Let's focus on Griffins. Like I said, we're going to head over to Green Obelisk. Sometimes there's um, Griffins over there. I'm hoping today just to make things a little bit easier because of how close we are to base. But worst case, um, they're not there or they're low levels and we're going to be flying around for a while. So let's see what we can find, guys. All right. If you guys don't know, Griffins tend to spawn all over the map. But this is one of the spots that they usually spawn in. Um, of course, we have an Alpha Rex right here. Oh, my gosh. Uh, hopefully, there's no Griffin here then right now. Because, of course, it's going to get killed by that Alpha Rex. Thank God. But usually, this spot right here. I don't have a GPS, unfortunately. But right near Green Obelisk, usually you will find a spawn or two of Griffins. But I'm actually happy right now that we can't find any because of that Alpha Rex. Uh, what level is that Alpha? Anyways, holy sh... 174, let's get out of here. No, 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 no. Uh, another thing you have to worry about in this area, obviously, besides that Alpha Rex, is Gigas. This is actually Giga Country, so watch out. If you're going to look around here, just make sure the Giga's not near you or anything like that. All right, there's a griffin over there. Now, the best way to spot him is you can see that cloud of smoke, basically. Um, that's a level 72. That's not really the best that I'm going to be looking for. I want something a little bit better. Um, but we could always just tame it just as like a starter bird, basically. Um, and then we could use it to fly around. That might actually not be too bad of an idea. But usually you do find a lot of them over here. So I'm going to take a quick look. If we can't find anything um, better than that 72 around here, then I might just tame it just so we can get around the map a little bit quicker. All right, guys, screw it. We're going to get this Griffin because, honestly, I think the Griffin, even at a level 72, once it's tamed and everything like that, will be a heck of a lot better than using this Pteranodon weight-wise and everything like that. Plus, on this little uh, peninsula area that we're on, I'm just trying to get these guys off of here because I don't want the Griffin to aggro or anything. There we go. Perfect. And then let's just get this one off of here. And then this area will just be to ourselves specifically. It's just a complete... Um, there's no way up here, basically. So it's just like a little island on its own. There's no creature that can get up here or anything like that. So that's why it might just be a little bit easier kind of uh, taming it here. Because no uh, bad things could come and basically kill it. So, And it's all flat here, which is actually perfect. So let's start setting up this trap and let's get this thing going here. So... We're going to use five of these gateways. Uh, personally, I I'm, I always have a hard time doing this, honestly. But let's see. All right, let's back up like this. Just go straight. So we're going to put one here. I want to have enough room where I can get out. That should be good. Okay, let's just double check. Cool, I can get through there. I could barely get through that one, and I could get through that. Perfect. Okay, here we go. Perfect. So let's put up the the gate here. We're going to put the gate on the end. We're going to put the gate on the front. And then the idea is that we're basically going to run through here. Hopefully it gets stuck. Maybe I'll be able to take a little bit of damage, and in between I can kind of do like this to just trap it in this little area here or uh, wherever. I don't think... I don't think it's going to be able to get out of that. I'm hoping it's not. Let's just double check with the Pteranodon before we attempt to do this. All right, let's see. Can Pteranodon get up through that? No. I think we're good, honestly. I think we're okay. All right, guys, so here's the idea. I'm going to lure it with uh, the Pteranodon here. We're basically going to get on over there. You know what I should do first, actually? Let's play this smart. Let's put down a bed just in case things go wrong and I end up getting killed inside of the trap or whatever. Um, yeah, let's let's play this a little bit smart, honestly. All right, so I believe that's our 72 there. 
That's an Argent. 72 Griffin. Perfect. Let's see if we got this thing following us. Hopefully we do. Mm, yes, but we also have Argents following us. It looks like it's aggroed on the Argent. All right, so it looks like we finally had the Griffin aggroed. I actually had to kill the Argent, uh, but we should be looking pretty good here. I think the Griffin's going to be a little bit quicker than us. Hopefully the Griffin has kind of, nope, hasn't really lost aggro, but I'm kind of wondering, can I park myself here? And it'll just go straight into the trap. Holy shit, it actually went straight into the trap. Stay there. Stay there. Is it aggroed on me? Oh boy, it's going to come out, isn't it? Oh boy. <laughs> Alright, so got to be a little bit quicker next time about it. Looks like it's actually like running away. No, it's not. Okay. Alright, let's try this again. Wow, okay, so I actually trapped it. Absolutely amazing. Okay, uh, let's see if I can knock this thing out now, though. That's going to be the biggest concern. All right, this thing is starting to get really damaged. Oh, my God, I'm worried I'm going to kill this thing. Come on, just knock out. Fine. <clears throat> oh, my God. Finally, it is out. Jeez. Um, yeah, I have a bit of a sore throat, guys. Sorry about that. Um, but anyways, holy crap. 208 health left, which means three more shots. I probably would have killed this thing. Um, but overall, looking at the stats, uh, 2232 in health, 393 in stam, uh, 369 weight, and uh, 140 melee. Again, not the best, but that's okay. It's only a level 72. It's just going to be an upgrade right now to our Pteranodon, and then we'll actually be able to go out, get a better Griffin, and then go from there. So I'm going to start picking up this trap and everything like that, honestly. This is a great feature, this whole pickup feature. I really wish it was kind of a single-player setting where you can actually do this on single-player and everything like that, which... As of now on console, the only way to actually do it is the way that I'm doing it, which is you have to get yourself a server and then you just add it to the server settings and stuff. But if they could just make this like just like a little button, basically, just make it like an actual setting and everything um, that on single player, we're actually able to pick stuff up. That would just that would be great, honestly, especially with builds and everything like that. But um, we don't have to worry about the aloes over there or anything like that. Speaking of which, what level is that aloe? 174. Holy crap. Um, anyways. We don't really have to worry about uh, those aloes or anything like that. Nothing can get up here. So at this point, we just have to kind of wait this out and then uh, feed it some mutton and everything. I got to look on Dodo decks and see uh, how much this thing's going to honestly take. Um, but we do have plenty of mutton. We also have uh, plenty of narcotic. I have 20 narcotic, which should be more than enough if this thing does get a little bit low. Because it does look like it's dropping eh, relatively quickly. But... We'll see on Dodo decks kind of what, how many uh, mutton it takes to get this guy. But, guys, our first griffin. Oh, my God. Absolutely crazy. So, I'll see you guys in a little bit. We'll check out the stats once this thing is up. All right. And it's up. Sweet. 107 griffin. Now, here is the funny thing. Let me show you guys how much of an upgrade this thing is going to be compared to our Pteranodon. Our Pteranodon is sitting at 237 with 1549 health, 483 stam, 200 weight, and 290 melee. Plus, we have put in so many levels on this thing. But let's uh, <clears throat> let's compare with the Griffin here just to kind of show you guys. 107 Griffin... 2,472 in health, which is already better. 483 stam, which I think is just about better in the stam department. Higher in weight, yes, lower in melee damage, honestly. Again, this thing is not a fighter. This thing's a flyer. This thing can be a fighter, especially with its little dive bomb ability, because I believe if you, like, get the timing right of the dive bomb and you do the little swipey at the same time, it does a crazy amount of damage. So... This thing could be actually a little bit better than our Pteranodon in the melee department, too. Um, what I'm going to do at this point, though, is I'm going to put the Pteranodon away. Yes, we will have to watch the Griffin stamina and stuff like that, but 
We've had to do that with the Pteranodon all along, so I'm not really too concerned about it. Now, what's so amazing about the Griffin, and it really doesn't matter what level Griffin you get, honestly, because these things are great. Uh, one, they had the swooping ability, which this thing is just awesome. You also have this on the Snow Owl, too. Um, but the swooping ability just makes it go so, so fast, honestly, and it just gets you through this map real quickly and you need to because this map is absolutely huge um one of the benefits of this thing and i think it's the only flyer that you can actually do this with you can shoot off the back of this flyer which i don't think a lot of flyers if any others um possess this ability which is absolutely amazing um like i said yes you will have to watch the stamina on this thing and everything because it drops real quickly but like i said we've been using the pteranodon um so i'm not really too too concerned about the stamina and everything like that i kind of want to see what its damage output's going to be it's not going to be high um i'm going to be honest okay 36 as opposed to the pteranodon which was doing 55 but let's give this an idea so we have 36 on the swipe and hopefully we'll be able to kill this thing. There we go, sweet. Looks like we already got a level on this thing too, which is absolutely awesome. Gotta wait a second for it to update. It made the sound, hey, there we go, Griffin leveled up, sweet. All right, we're gonna put that into stamina. All right, so we know it does 36 damage, basically. Uh, let's get up in the air real quick. I want to do a swoop. I want to do a dive swoop and see what this thing can do. Another great thing about this is you can fly backwards with this guy. Just absolutely amazing, especially if you can get a high-level one. Biggest downside of this creature is you can't breed him yet. What what damage did it say? 168. Okay, so 168 doing the swipe. That's actually really damn good, honestly. Uh, real happy, real excited about this guy, but... I do want to get myself a better griffin because the 72 is just not going to work, honestly. Um, but we can find better, honestly. And usually you do find some over here. So let's have a quick look and see um, if we can find a griffin over here. Like I said, best way to find these guys is looking for the big puff of smoke. Um, if you see that, it, and you can see it from really, really far away too, which is really, really nice. And what we'll do is we're actually going to come up here to get some stam, but I think... If there is a griffin around here, this is where we'll set up the trap. Because again, we're on this nice ledge. There's nothing up here, literally, which just makes this so much easier, honestly, to tame. So um, let's have a quick look around. Maybe we'll be able to be able to find a griffin here. But if not, we have so much area to cover to try to find a griffin. So I don't think it's going to be a problem. All right. So we're down in the ravine and I've actually found two more griffins. So that's a level 66. Then there's one way over there, uh, 54, 18, so 66 and 18, not good enough. We're looking for a heck of a lot better than that. But in this ravine area, you do tend to find a ton of griffins too. So just kind of coming through here. Is that another griffin or is that the, no, that's the waterfall. Okay, so that's two griffins. Um, but you do tend to find a ton of griffins in this ravine area too. So definitely have a look down here if you are looking for griffins. All right, we got a 108 griffin over here. That's not too shabby, but let's see if we can find something a little bit better. All right, guys. Interestingly enough, we are back over to the same spot because I have actually found a 156 griffin, which is the best I can find on this map as of now. So that's what we're actually going to go for. So yet again, we're going to set up the trap kind of the same way. Hopefully we'll be able to get this done... I think that's good. And lastly, I think that's good. Okay, let's just double check that I can get through these. Yep, I can get through this one. I can get through that one. I can get through that one. And I can get through that one. Perfect. Okay, uh, so what we're actually going to do instead is I think we're going to use the Pteranodon instead of using the Griffin because... Um, as much as I like the Griffin, I think the Pteranodon's just a little bit easier to lure the Griffin into the trap. And I feel like using a Griffin, uh, the other Griffin's actually going to catch up real quick. So unfortunately, I would have to put the gri our Griffin inside of the trap. And yeah, um, another thing I've realized, um, the melee on our Griffin is 135. I could have sworn, and I would have to look back at the footage and see... I could have sworn our Griffin was 140 pre-tamed, so I think they do. It's kind of similar to the Giga, where 
they uh, actually get their melee dropped a little bit, which kind of stinks. Um, but it's not too, too bad, honestly. I've done a couple of... Uh, I've had to kill some of the low-level griffins out there, and doing the swipe, it ends up actually being 200 and change damage. So maybe the one that we killed over there earlier, um, I think it was a hyena that we hit or something like that. Might have been mate boosted, which is why it was like 113 or something like that. But um, we're going to get this, this griffin. It's... Um, yeah, it's right actually near the green obelisk a bit. Um, not too far from where we actually saw that Alpha Rex, surprisingly. So we're going to have to get this thing lured over to us real quick. Hopefully we'll be able to get it over here. Um, we'll see how this goes. Hopefully we can knock out a 156. That would be absolutely amazing. Um, I will be honest. I am a little bit worried that um, we're going to end up killing it. But we'll see. I think we'll be okay, honestly. All right, last time I saw it, I saw it kind of right on over here. Where'd you go, buddy? Uh-oh, where'd you go? Uh-oh. All right, I was over here on this rock when I saw it, so let me get back to this rock. Well, maybe we'll just fall off the rock. Uh, tell me it despawned. Oh, no, it's following me now. Awesome. Oh, my God. It must have been in these trees, and I totally didn't see it. Uh, I believe that's the 156, but I do want to double check and everything. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, crap. <laughs> 88 damage, oh boy. And this Pteranodon does not have a lot of health on it and everything like that. Where'd it go? That was weird. Alright, maybe it aggro to something else. That might be a blessing in disguise, honestly. But yeah, that that's definitely our Griffin. Uh, that's definitely our 156. Let's see if we can find it. There you are. Why the heck did you not attack me before? Um, anyways, let's slowly but surely, surely lure this thing uh, back to the trap, and we'll uh, go from there. No, don't go after the Argent. No, 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 no. Oh my god, this griffin has gotten into so much trouble at this point. Um, it looks like it's trying to kill this other stego too, which looks like the stego is going to die basically here. But, oh my god, this thing has uh, gotten me into a lot more trouble than I would like to admit. Let's get this guy out of here. Okay, so it finally killed the stego. Wow, 174 it killed. All right, now where is the griffin? There it is. Okay, come on, griffin. Oh my god, it's going after something else now. All right, looks like we finally got its attention. Oh my god. Uh, let's see, is it still following? It is. Oh crap, and it's about to hit me. Okay, I gotta watch out, because I am really low on health at this point. Oh god, it's actually able to catch me right now. That is not good. All right, so the Pteranodon might have to be sacrificed here and just get it into the trap. Yep, it's following. All right, I'm just going to have to do it, unfortunately. Sorry, Pteranodon. All right, so Pteranodon was sacrificed, but hopefully we're going to be able to... Oh, God. Wow, that thing actually hit me really hard. Okay. Um, I just realized, too, I got to put down my sleeping bag. Just in case anything bad happens, let's kind of plop that on over here. Have a little bit of food. And hopefully we're going to be able to knock this thing out. We'll see what happens. Hopefully we're able to get this thing. Kind of stinks we lost the Pteranodon, but this is going to be a huge, huge upgrade if, uh, if we can actually get this thing. Wow, it actually hit me from that far back. Holy crap. All right, so we got to make sure to be a little bit further back. Jeez, I thought we were actually, uh, I thought we were good, but clearly not. And it ate the body, which is actually a good thing. All right, now we got to be a little bit careful. Got to shoot this thing from a little bit of a distance. You know what I'm actually going to do? I'm going to get on the griffin. 
Just so at least if it's gonna damage me, at least it uh, damages the griffin and not actually me. So I am a little bit worried. It is starting to look a little bit bloody. Um, and I can't tell um, if it's running or anything because it's still kind of, okay, it looks like it's just starting to run. I'm just gonna start laying a few shots into it. Hopefully, The wings don't look too, too bloody, so I think we're still looking okay, but I don't want to end up killing this thing by mistake, but it is definitely Torpor running at this point. Hopefully, it'll knock out fairly soon. And it's out. Awesome. Oh, my God. Absolutely amazing. We did, unfortunately, lose the Pteranodon over it, but I think it's going to be a worthy upgrade and everything like that. Let's check out the stats of this thing as of now. So we're looking at 4085 in health, 450 stam, 431 weight, and 205 melee. We know the melee is going to get uh, changed a little bit, so we'll kind of see what happens once this thing is up. But unfortunately, we did lose the Pteranodon, but I do think that it honestly will be a bit of an upgrade for us. I mean, to be honest, this griffin right here is an upgrade for us. So, I can only imagine how much better this one's going to be, but we'll have to see once it's uh, once it's on up. We'll check out the stats and everything like that. So, I'm just going to start picking up the frames at this point, because there's nothing else up here besides us. So, we should be looking pretty good. And, uh, yeah, hopefully we get this griffin, guys. Hopefully, uh, I do have enough uh, narcotics and stuff like that, so we should be able to get this thing. But, just got to keep an eye on the tour port. But, uh, we should be looking pretty good for a uh, really damn good griffin, honestly. All right, and it's ours. 233 Griffin, holy crap. Okay, um, I want to compare the two and see if this Griffin is already going to be... I'm going to assume it's going to be better than the Griffin that we have, even with leveling and everything. But let's see what we have. First things first, let's turn this thing off here. Uh, let's start with the uh, health. 4752 versus our griffin which was 2472 so a lot better there almost doubled uh stamina 607.5 686 okay i've been leveling the stamina on this thing like crazy so that's totally okay totally understand that uh next thing 509 in weight and 246 melee versus this one 380 135 melee oh my god um i'm liking this one don't get me wrong but this one's just gonna be so much better so much better equipped for us and everything like that and with that we will be naming this griffin after one of our uh patreon so uh squirrel bait this one's gonna be named after you uh why am i forgetting how to spell squirrel right now um wow i'm actually gonna head over to patreon just to make sure i got this all right all right, there we go. Squirrel bait. Um, again, squirrel bait. Thank you so much for being a Patreon. Um, really do appreciate it. But squirrel bait, this thing's going to be named after you. And I think this thing is absolutely amazing. Let's just get that stamina up a little bit. And we'll be looking real good with this guy overall. Don't get me wrong, this griffin's great and everything like that, but this one is going to definitely be second best compared to the griffin we have now. So we'll put this guy away. I don't know, I'll probably name this thing something. Um, I don't know, we'll figure out ideas. If you guys have name suggestions for the other griffin, uh, let me know in the comments down below. Um, but anyways, let's go right around on this thing. This thing's going to be, oh my god. This thing is great. I kind of want to see what the swoop does. Um, ooh, is that a, ooh, perfect, saber. Alright, let's get up in the air. Let's see if I can do this swoop. All right, there he is. Four sixty-three melee damage. That is absolutely amazing. Now, mind you, obviously, it's just from the swoop. It's not actually going to do four hundred and sixty-three. It's just when you do that swoop attack and you do the, uh, the little claw, little uh, scratch, whatever you want to call it. Um, it does a crazy amount of damage, but I would say normally this thing's probably going to do around uh, 40, 50 damage, basically. So not too, too shabby with this thing, but I'm really liking this guy overall. But, guys, overall, that, in fact, is going to wrap up this episode. 
Um, really good episode today. Got ourselves some really good griffins. And honestly, I think Squirrel Bait's going to be here for a while. Um, real excited about this griffin. The actual stats on this thing is really, really good. So I'm really, really happy uh, that we got this griffin. But guys, that in fact is going to wrap up this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, smash that like button. Questions, comments, leave it down below. If you're new to the channel or if you've already been enjoying my content but you just haven't hit that subscribe button yet, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. It really, really helps me out. And I'll see you guys in the next one.